everyone we all find stuff that we need to clean if it's really good stuff if it's a key date coin some nice jewelry maybe this isn't the tip for you but for for your everyday clad modern coins relics you might not know what they are but you've exhausted everything any which way to clean it um, i love to use a rock tumbler it's really easy it's effective and it really just brings things to life especially again that modern coinage you know if you want to recirculate it use it deposit it whatever put it in a coin star this will clean it up really nicely um, for the buttons buttons can be a little bit um, fragile so i don't recommend it on buttons but other things like shotgun shells you know i got a collection of my toilet bowl of shotgun shells so it cleans up nicely um, so i'll show you some of the other things i'm going to tumble in this and we'll show you what they look before and what they look like after so a few things you're going to need obviously you're going to need a rock tumbler mine's pretty dirty it's about seven or eight years old i got it at harbor freight it was less than 40 bucks and i had a 20 dollar i mean a 20 percent coupon so really cheap um and definitely worth the investment i've kept it outside all all those seven or eight years in the brutal winters um, and it keeps chugging. I actually bought a second one a couple years ago thinking this thing's probably gonna die soon so I'd have another one but I haven't had to open that box yet. So you've got your tumbler and then what you also need aquarium gravel. Not a ton just a little bit um, so you'll need that aquarium gravel to mix in with your finds and it's gonna tumble it up. You'll also need a strainer because when you're done cleaning everything, you're gonna pour everything in there, rinse it out, and then pick up your clean finds. Um, and you'll be very happy with what they look like. Again, as long as there's nothing precious, nothing valuable, I wouldn't tumble those things. So you'll also need, of course, some dirty finds. What dirty finds do I have? Um, you know, I've got the shotgun shells I told you about, got some wheat pennies, I've got buckle, I've got a war nickel in here, uh, th harmonica reed. So I'll just do some before and after pictures so that you can see what they look like. And um, so let's get to tumbling. Okay, so first thing you do is you put your finds in the tumbler's canister. Just pour them right in. And then on top of that, you'll put in your gravel. You should probably aim between the gravel and the finds is about half full, maybe a little bit more half full. That's okay, because the rest then you're gonna fill up with water. I know some people put soap in there, a little pinch of soap, a liquid soap or, or other cleaners. I, I just keep it um, natural and just let the thing do its thing. You then seal up the canister, put it on the tumbler, turn it on and let it roll. I usually let it go for about three hours. For me, that's a good time. Um, it doesn't over tumble, it doesn't under tumble, it gets all the crud off and sometimes reveals some really cool stuff. So. All right, let's see how we made out. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, I've got my strainer. Move to a bigger sink for this. And let's just pour it all out. So get the water going. I'll rinse this out a little bit. Throw it right back in and over. And now it's gonna rinse all this stuff out. Get any dirt still in there out. All right, let's start picking through and see what we got. This was one of those wheat pennies. It's now a little bit legible. Same thing with here. I got a few more coins in there. This was the colonial copper. Unfortunately, it's still toast. <laughs> no more detail on it, unfortunately, but uh, okay, well, Worth a shot. Maybe when it dries up, I'll see something. Who knows? Got my shotgun shells that are going to go in my little container. Got this uh, harmonica reed. This, I believe, was a um, hair clip. Sounded beautiful in the field. This was a plated spoon handle. 
So you can see sometimes it reveals the engraving on the back. This one is just uh, plain. This is uh, who knows what that is. Sometimes you put something in, it reveals something, and sometimes it just remains a mystery. Blob of lead turned out to be nothing. This is the war nickel. Cleaned up really nice. 1964. Hmm. Wow, that's beat up. Kind of my dates in my mind are going off. Is that a war nickel? Maybe not. Maybe so. And just keep picking away. Let's find that buckle. Yeah, so that buckle, it was pretty beat up. You know, a little bit better. Not great. Mystery piece. So that's pretty much it. Nice key here. Got some detail off of that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, I really recommend it again, especially for those modern coinage that you want to just clean and reuse or just get rid of in a coin star. Really good. It's helped me identify things that I thought were just plain pieces of metal. They wound up having an engraving on it and things like that. So play around with it. You know, start off small. Don't go too ambitious with the nice finds. And um, I'd love to know how you make out with your tumbler. I'll do other cleaning videos as well, um, like uh, electrolysis using the ugly box. I've had some really good results with that. Um, in this particular tumbler video, I did do a copper, a colonial copper that I couldn't ID. Um, I figure, what's the point? What, what's the harm, right? <laughs> it's toasted anyway. Uh, the electrolysis using the ugly box could be a good alternative for that too. So in the coming weeks, I'll do a video on that. So. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Please, please like. Please comment. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't already, please stop over to XP Team USA's YouTube channel, XP Metal Detectors and XP Metal Detecting Skill School. Really good videos. And a shout out to Cameron Mazer. Um, he's got a great video channel growing right now too, as well as a lot of the other guys on XP Team USA. So give them some love. Give them a subscribe, a watch. And uh, until next time. Hi, I'm Kit. Actually, I'm Cameron Mason. Hey, you do your thing, little guy. Anyway, do you need a gift for your favorite XP detectors? Then visit our website at www.xpteamusastore.com for all your Christmas needs. We have beanies. We have sweatshirts. We have hats. The new rainstorm hat. Red hats. Camouflage hats. We have t-shirts, different colors, we have long sleeve t-shirts, and we even have jackets. So get that perfect gift today and beat the Christmas rush. Don't wait till the last minute. On behalf of my teammates at XP Team USA, I'd like to thank you for your support and wish you a safe and Merry Christmas. Hey, I think I hear Santa coming now. Christmas! Oh.